Hi, in this video I will show you how to create a dripping effect. Let's get started. Unlock the background layer. Select the magic wand tool. Click select subject to automatically select your subject. With the background layer selected, click Create New Masks icon to create a mask for the background layer. With the background layer selected, press Ctrl or Command T to transform your subject. Scale and position your subject at center. Now it's time to import our dripping effect. Go to Files and then select Place Embedded. From your file location, choose the dripping effects you want to use and click place. Now that the dripping effect has been placed, let's transform and scale it to fit our subject. Reduce the opacity of dripping effect layer to have a better view in other to scale it well. Once again, let's scale the dripping effect to fit our subject. Right click and select flip horizontal. Adjust the dripping effect till you are satisfied with the result. Bring the opacity back to 100%. Right click the first layer and select rasterize layer. With the magic wand tool selected, click the white areas of the dripping layer and hit delete on your keyboard. Press and hold the control key and click on the thumbnail of the first layer. Hide the first layer. Select layer mask of the second layer and then select the brush tool. Follow this brush settings and press control or command shift plus I to invert the selection. Make sure you have black as foreground color and opacity and flow to 100%. Clean the areas under the dripping selection. Select the adjustment layer icon and choose gradient. Follow these settings. Create a new layer on top of the gradient layer. With the brush tool selected, right click and select soft round brush. Click on the foreground color. With the eyedropper tool select the dark area of your subject's shirt. Click OK. Increase or decrease the brush size by pressing the carry brackets. Remember the left carry bracket decreases while the right carry bracket increases brush size. Now, just dab or make a click. Press Ctrl or Command T to transform. Press and hold Alt or Options and the Shift keys, then click and drag the top middle point downwards. Now release, then drag the shadow a little bit down. If you find this video interesting, please hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications for more videos like this. Thank you. See you in the next video.
Thank you.